start by telling you a little bit about me. Uh, let's get this right out of the way. My name is Brian, and I am single. Yeah. No, it's hard to believe, ladies, but it's true. Uh, I saw y'all checking me out back there. Ram, yeah. Ram. I uh, recently have uh, been losing weight, getting into shape. I've lost 35 pounds, which I'm kind of excited about. Thank you. You guys are nice. I said that at a show last night, and they were like, nah, wait to get the 50 fat boy, then we'll clap. <laughs> Gotta love LA. But uh, it happens after every show that somebody will always come up to me and try to give me advice on how to lose weight. And there's some weird ways that people are telling me. One guy comes up to me and goes, Brian, you wanna lose weight? Here's what you need to do. You need to work at a gym. Work at a, yeah, I'm the first guy you wanna see behind the counter at a fitness center. <laughs> Come on in, sign up, you look just like me, come on! You know, I'm behind the counter eating ho-hos, you know? All right, well, let me, uh, let me give you the tour here. Uh, got the uh, Stairmaster over there, haven't used it, but I hear it's wonderful. Uh, it's some big metal thing with strings, that looks painful. A lot of the uh, women are doing aerobics upstairs. I uh, haven't been allowed up there since the incident. crazy. So uh, I got to admit though, I've been doing one of those fad diets to, to lose the weight, you know, and I have no idea where people come up with these crazy things, but it's working. Here's the one I've been doing. It's uh, eat healthy and exercise. <laughs> yeah, you know, apparently that's what they've been talking about all these years. Cause everyone knows that expression. Um, an apple a day keeps the uh, uh, jiggly man boobs away. You know that one? <laughs> I love that phrase, jiggly man boobs. I do. I want to put that in a Christmas song. Wouldn't you love to hear that this December? Just see those man boobs jiggling, jing, jing, jiggling too. Everybody, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, let's go. You need a man, bro. Come on, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, they're grand, they fit in your hand. All right, never mind, sorry. Sorry, just... sorry about that. I, uh... I found something out weird, very weird about me recently. It's kind of odd. Um, I found out that I have racist hair. Now stick with me on this, it's kind of weird, but for many, many, many years, the Browns and the Blacks have lived happy, in harmony, in unity. Now, I don't want to cause any trouble tonight, folks, but recently some whites have been showing up, okay? And we tweeze them and say, we don't want your kind around here, you know? And we were doing that, and more and more whites have been showing up, and now the Brown and Blacks have left. They're just, they've had enough. There goes the neighborhood, you know what I mean? You guys had no idea where that was going, did you? <laughs> That's kind of weird. So, uh, things, are, things are weird. I found this out recently. I found out that Congress is putting a, a panel together to investigate whether or not they should ban dodgeball from elementary school. Have you heard about this? I was talking to a friend of mine about this and she's like, they should totally ban dodgeball because there's no life skills involved. I'm like, no life skills? How about ducking when someone throws stuff at your head? <laughs> I don't know about you guys, that's a pretty good life skill to me. I don't want people walking around going, is that a brick? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Crazy stuff. I uh, just recently celebrated the birthday and um, that's kind of cool. And uh, I don't really like it because I have family members who give me gifts from where they work. That happened to any of you? Like they're too cheap to buy you something nice so they steal stuff from the office. And you know they do it and you have to act happy to get it. You're like, oh look, it's a mouse pad with coffee stains on it, thanks. <laughs> you know, it's horrible, it just drives me up the wall. And every time we have a family function, my family insists on playing Pictionary. And I do not like playing Pictionary. I, because I am ultra competitive, I wanna win at every single thing I do. But every time I play Pictionary, I get teamed up with a jerk who can't draw, <laughs> is always my partner. You know what I mean, sir? So they get a clue like ice cream cone and they mess that up. You know what I'm talking about? They just draw this squiggly thing and they just point at it for 60 seconds. You've seen this technique? Oh, this is a beauty, you know? And they start getting mad at you because you can't figure this out. You know, there's some orangutan on crack, you know? And you're like, dude, draw something, anything. So they just circle it really fast because the next one. You're like, yeah, hey, thanks for helping out there, Da Vinci. <laughs> Apparently the clue is you suck at drawing. 
And then whenever it's my turn to draw, I get the really crappy answers to draw. They get the easy stuff. They get like door. Oh, that's tough, huh? You know, they get window. They're like, I can draw a window, you know? I get up there, I get viral meningitis, you know? <laughs> Come on! I don't even know the symptoms. Okay, I got a guy bleeding out of the eyes. Does this help anybody? Come on, he's bleeding out of the eyes! Hey, thank you. You guys have been a lot of fun. Have a great night.